Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the Bee Theme and the Bee Builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to make sticky elements on the side that follows the scroll. It is an extremely useful feature for any type of website where you would like to make sticky images, banners, texts, videos, etc. that follows the visitor. For a change, in this video I would like to show you two usage examples of sticky content. The one would be related with the WooCommerce shop where the product image with gallery follows the visitor during the scroll of the product details and the other would be table of contents that follows the visitor while reading the content. As this is table of contents, you can also click on end linked paragraph and you will be taken to the right place of the article. Let's start with the first example. As in a, this is a single product, I have to go to the template section that is just underneath the Bifim and edit the simple product page with the B Builder. As you can see, I already populated template for single product with two wraps and elements in it. On the left side, I have three fifth wrap and two fifth on the right side. The left wrap has gallery only, but for the right, I put many elements like breadcrumbs, product title, price, add to cart button, and more. As you noticed, the right wrap is way longer than the left one. And that's why, at this point, I would like to draw your attention to an important thing. Please remember that the sticky wrap moves along the y-axis in relation to the height of the section. For the proper operation of this effect, you need at least two wraps, of which the content of non-sticky wrap is longer than content of the sticky one. And now, to make my gallery sticky, all I have to do is edit the wrap where the gallery is and in the settings, options tab, all I have to do is enable the sticky option. From now on, as soon as we will start scrolling, the wrap with gallery will follow the longer wrap with product description. It's that simple. As the first example is just over, Let's jump in to the second example with table of contents. As you can see on my screen, I have two wraps, three fourth on the left populated with headings and lorem lipsum text and one fourth on the right where I have my mentioned talk element. The principle of operation is the same as in the previous example, but in this case we have a regular page with different elements. And now to make the wrap with talk sticky again, I have to go to settings options tab and enable the sticky option. That's great. Now my talk follows the visitor as they scroll through the text on, on the left. The examples presented in today's video are just a small part of what could be accomplished with this feature because you can make sticky any elements, banners and much more. I hope that with this tutorial I have clarified a bit about the sticky elements. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com